light is delivered in these little packets called photons. For example, if you're out in the park and there's a, a tree, the leaf is absorbing the light from the sun. It's absorbing little packets of energy. It's converting that energy into a useful form of energy for itself. So a leaf is an energy converting machine. And one of the things that we do in our lab in the photon factory is we use that idea of a leaf as a model to make our own energy converting machine. Eventually, we'll be able to make a material that you can embed in a roofing tile and just lay on your house. And then your house will absorb sunlight, convert it to electricity, which for us is the useful form of energy we would like to have, and you'll be able to run your television. So we use laser pulses, exotic laser pulses, as a tool. And we can study everything from um, art restoration, trying to figure out how pigments degrade and prevent that degradation in Renaissance paintings, to understanding the fundamental nature of how electrons and nuclei interact with one another on a molecular scale, to developing better drugs, um, things like cancer therapeutic agents that use light in order to kill off cancer cells. We also use that light to do engineering type things on tiny scales. So scales that are, um, length scales that are smaller than the width of a human hair. So we can use our lasers to drill features into materials or make little architectures of things, little molecular scale machines, um, and start probing things on the nano scale. So the reason the Photon Factory was established here at the University of Auckland was to enable the creative research of a wide range of basic and applied research to improve human health, to improve our ability to harvest clean renewable energy, improve the technology that we all use every day, and to understand the basic fundamental underpinnings of how nature works.